Hello, my people. So, how are you doing today? Today, I'm going to be using this scuba material. And then, this embellishment, I'll be using this for the finishing. Or, because it's two types. You have the small and the big size. So, it's either I'll use this big size. Or I'll be using the smaller size. Whichever one I'm using will be beautiful on the design. Of course, you've seen the picture of the uh, turban that I am about to make. And you also know that this embellishment was part of the design on it. So I'll be using the scuba material. And as well, I can combine it with any other one if I like. Then I'll be using foam. I'll be using foam to do the top. Of course, the scuba material is a stretchy fabric. So to create the pleat, I'll be using the stretchy part to create the pleat. And secondly, the pleat is not a normal pleat. That's the usual small, small pleat. It's a very big pleat. So you can see how far. I am going to create the, this particular uh, pleat now. So the pleat I'm creating is about four, four pleats. So after folding it like this, I will take it to my sewing machine where I'll be using my sewing machine to sew all the pleats down. You understand? So I'll sew it one after the other and sew it down but the distance of what you are seeing now is what must remain that is i must maintain this distance right now i am done with the sewing so you can see the pleat is quite big and the distance is very obvious that's the design there and that's what i am doing so after creating the pleat because the first thing i'm doing now is to create the turban itself so after creating the pleat, I'll simply fold the turban and then take the size for the head and then also take the length for the back. So for the purpose of this particular tutorials, I'll be using a uh, 10. That, that 10, I'm measuring it after the pleat. Of course, you can see it. It's very obvious. So I start after the pleat to place my measurement tape and then I'll take the measurement there. So 10, I'll keep the remaining one aside and then we'll be working on this particular one. Is that okay? So now, um, the base, the base, I need to take the normal measurement if I'm doing a simple turban that does not carry this mosh pleat, I will, for the base, I've given you the measurement for this back, is 10 inches. But if I'm doing a normal one before, I'll just use like 10 and a half or 10 for the base. But for this particular one, I am using 11. Why I'm using 11 is because whenever the base is very thick, it's the stretchy, uh, but the fabric will not be too stretchy anymore. So you need to like make it comfortable to sit on the edge. So you use about 11 inches to do that. So after what you see now, I took it to the machine and I've sewn. So you can see how it is looking. Uh, it's proper you use the interlock machine to like do your finishing. That is if you desire to have a very good finishing so it's good you use your interlock but if you don't mind you can leave it like this and then just use your loose uh, stitches to pull it together so if you look at it now you see that the okay you see the the distance of the pleat this is actually the style you understand it's not a normal pleat if i do a small small pleat it will not reflect the style all right, so this is the foam I'm going to use. And the measurement for the foam, that is the height, or should I say the width, 
is three inches. Why the length? The length. You can make the length as long as possible. But let's just say if you have 26 or 28, is okay. So after you turn it around, you can now uh, cut off the excess because you will be seeing me do that as I proceed with this video. So I first of all wrap that foam with lining then and now sew the open part which I fix the foam in. You will also see that as you keep washing. So you can see that I've already interlocked and I'm using loose stitches. You can see I have distance. I gave distance before I'm doing my loose stitches. I gave that distance because I will be placing that foam on top and I need, you know, it's going to still take some space. So I just need to create the space for where I'll place the foam and for it to see properly from both front to the back. So it's very necessary. All right. So this is how I use loose stitches to like hold the back of the turban. So it will just create a sweet gathering or what a look at the back. And also we have this look on the pattern that I am doing now. So this is the foam. I've also fixed it. Okay, I have not, I'm about to fix it in inside the uh, scuba material I prepared to put it inside. So I decided to use the same scuba material I used for the turban on the top. If you like, it's a thing of choice. You can use a different uh, fabric to do the top. It's going to just form a different design. So now the foam is ready. I'm just going to fix the foam to the top of the turban. But one thing we must have in mind is that the distance of the fixing of this foam to the top of the turban was actually after the third pleat. You understand? It should be able to go far as in the third pleat. So why fixing it? I have to be conscious of the fact that it should rest after the uh, third pleat. So now, uh, you can join this top if you like. If you don't like, you can just make it a separate top to be worn. But I'm going to join mine. So I'm going to sew that part now using my sewing machine. But before I will do that, you can see that while I lap the foam, I have a little bit of excess. So because of that, I will cut it off from the inside while the material covering it will remain. So I will now have excess of the material. So now that I have excess of the material, I'll be using that excess to tuck in the foam from the other handle. So I will tuck in the foam from the second handle, like you are seeing now. Uh, yes, because it needs to be neat. And it's not every time you finish work in a rough way and then you start looking for how to close it how to cover your rough work. So if it's possible that you can make it neat at once, why not? So what I'm doing now is going to make it neat at once. So now I'll just take it to a sewing machine and sew it. I'm done sewing and then it will be time for me to fix it on the turban. So you see the line I just showed you. I will also place the line I used in sewing this particular uh, top now. I will place it on that turban that same line there and then i will use uh, my needle and thread to sew it so while i am uh, sewing it i will sew it along the line so that the sewing will not be obvious of course i chose to use this uh, method of needle and thread just for your planet so that you will get what i am doing if not i can just take it to my sewing machine lay it flat and then I'll use my needle, um, sorry, I'll use the sewing machine to run through it and it will be perfectly uh, neat. But assuming you don't have a sewing machine or you, your sewing machine is not that type that can sew a very thick fabric, then you can now use this method of uh, the needle and thread. And of course, the good news is if you do it properly, 
neatly, that carefully. The the rock work will not show. You understand? It will not show any sign of rock work. So right now, this turban is ready. So you can just see it on the dummy's head. So what actually brought out the final beauty of this turban happened to be the embellishment on top of the turban. So for the embellishment, you can use the big size because for this particular design, we have both the big and the small size. The small sizes, they are usually joined together. So it's you that we trim out the number you want. Maybe you need two or one. So if I forget, you can see that there is a mark on this turban. That mark is to guide me where I'm going to place the, the embellishment. So I don't just want to place it without being guided. So because of that, I actually place a mark that will now help me to place it and I will not have anyone that will bend to the left or, or, or to the right. You understand? All right. So before I go further with this video, if you are stopping by this channel for the first time, I just want to encourage you to please subscribe. Yes, subscribe, please. And also hit on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So at this junction, what I will need to do is to use my uh, hot glue and I'm just going to be doing it carefully, placing the hot glue on the, on the body of the taiko, you understand? So that you don't have it uh, staining, causing stain on your material, you understand? So I just place it using the hot glue. Though I was very careful with it, of course you can see what I am doing that. I was very, very careful, very, very careful to ensure that I avoid stain. And by the time I was done, it was perfect, all right? So if you look at it now, I am done with this design. What I used is simply a scuba material, foam, and then the embellishment. You understand? So this is just the back of the turban. I will show you the front. So this is the front, and you will agree with me that it is quite beautiful. So this will be all for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any question, please drop it on the comment section and I will respond to your questions. So for now, do have a nice day. From my, from my end, it is bye for now. So please, once again, subscribe to this channel so that you get notified. And you can also contact me if you need any product.